This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Littleton, Colorado. I am at South Park Animal Clinic. We're right here in South Park Drive, brand new to the area here of Littleton. Opened the doors in 2011. Let me ask you, Dr. David, you've sure. got you've got your training back in 1990. It's been a long time. You've done quite a bit. You're not new to this whatsoever. What were you hoping to accomplish when you opened the doors here, and what got you involved in this industry? I was looking for a nice environment where we could actually uh, interact with our clients and have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, environment where we could actually communicate more freely and uh, enjoy ourselves. We were looking for a nice environment to actually uh, practice veterinary medicine. Wonderful. As far as taking care of pets and animals, was that always something you love to do? Oh, for years. For years. It's been, I started at uh, five years of age, uh, really? maintaining animals. Yes. Wonderful. As far as the facility goes here, I mean, you actually worked in quite a few different places throughout the years, so you were able to pick and choose exactly what you liked and what you wanted to happen here. Tell me a little bit about the facility. How many square feet are we talking? We're a 5,000 square foot uh, facility here. And uh, like you said, we, we opened up just recently, uh, about a year ago. Okay. And uh, it's a five exam rooms. Uh, we're fully equipped. Uh, uh, radiology, we have uh, digital x-ray. We have the capacity for laser surgery. We have uh, orthopedic surgeons that come in and do specialized surgeries. Wow. So we have really quite a, a lot of capacity to do a lot of things here. Absolutely, let me ask you, why is it so important for uh, viewers out there who own pets to basically stop for a moment and pick out the best clinic for them? Why is that important? They need to be comfortable where they're going. That's the bottom line. Uh, there's, there's just an open communication. When you find an individual that you can communicate with, uh, I find that the medicine is, is much easier for everybody involved. The pet, the pet owner, the veterinarian, everybody can uh, to work together as a team. Wonderful. Let me ask you, let's start off first of all with a healthy pet. I mean, are, are pets like humans? And basically, if we do a little bit preventative maintenance, will that basically take care of us down the road? Is How important are wellness um, wellness checkups. Very important. Uh, you're, you hit it on the head. Uh, animals experience the same problems that uh, humans do. Uh, everything from diabetes, seizures, the whole gamut of, of problems that we see in human medicine, you see it in animals as well. But you're exactly right. Healthcare, uh, wellness checks, uh, preventative medicine. Uh, the big one these, these years now have been obesity. That's one of our biggest problems we're seeing right now is overweight animals. Interesting. So basically making sure they're, they're eating the right things as well as getting exercise, that type of thing. Right. How often would you recommend a, a wellness checkup? I generally recommend at least yearly. Uh, there are some animals as they get older, we, we would move that up to probably six months, every six months. Excellent. And as far as, let's say, an animal who is not healthy anymore and needs some surgical procedures done, give me, a, give me an example again of some of the surgical procedures you're able to perform here. We can do everything from exploratory surgeries, uh, splenectomies, uh, soft tissue, basically soft tissue uh, surgeries. Uh, we can do uh, all the orthopedic uh, surgeries that are necessary for uh, limb injuries. But uh, as I said, we have the capacity to do anything that you need. I imagine you've seen quite a few things change throughout the years. I mean, especially technology, digital radiology. Tell me what the, what the uh, uh, benefits are of that. It's twofold. It's it's safer for my my staff for this for the exposure radiation exposure, but the capacity to be able to send these X-rays anywhere to yourself. I can uh, send them to the client by way of email. I can send them to specialists for reviews. It's a it's a technology that's well, hasn't been available for many years, but now it's it's becoming more and more mainstream. Wonderful. And like you said, you've got everybody who is trained to come in and do the job. Um, but, but basically, it boils down to the love of the animal, it sounds like. And tell me a little bit about your staff, and uh, do they all share the same vision? Well, everybody hopes your, your staff uh, has the same vision. We've really enjoyed, we're very blessed with the, our, our staff that uh, uh, we've accrued here. Uh, we're, we're a team. We all get along very well and uh, have a tendency to... Uh, 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 we, our front staff is our, at the front desk here is, 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 is an awesome part of our, our staff. Um, 
they are the first line of defense in the sense of they are the ones that first meet the clientele base and and uh, encourage them to come in and we actually um, foster that behavior in in the back as well with our technicians so our technicians actually visit with the clients initially uh, on our exams to get us a, uh, a preliminary review and then myself comes in and we wonderful out. so like you said it all boils down to the relationship you're definitely building a relationship here with with the patient as well as um, with the patient's owner exactly. as well and so let me ask you medical um, you've got that well covered what about dentistry do you also offer that as well we do we have uh, most of the recent technologies in te dentistry uh, we were able to do extractions we do full cleanings uh, anesthetic uh, um, cleanings, uh, so we have to have the animal unconscious, of course, for, for dentistries, but we do extractions and clean the teeth here as well. Wonderful. Now, I don't know about most of the viewers out there, but when I think of small animals and pets, I think of cats and I think of kittens and puppies and dogs. I mean, you even treat exotic animals yes. and pets. Tell me about that, and I imagine that came from some of your experience in Florida. Yes, sir. Uh, a variety of things. Uh, we, we deal with snakes, reptiles, uh, one of our most recent exotics here was a Coatamundi uh, from, from uh, South America, but uh, we will deal with tarantulas. I've dealt with swans, goats, giraffes, you name it. We, we, we enjoy the, the menagerie. That is so cool. Folks, if you take a look at the bottom of the screen right there, you're going to see their website right there. You can take a look at the staff and some of the folks down here that are just waiting to treat your animal and take care of them and quite honestly just love them. Let me ask you, doctor, we've talked about a lot of the medical problems that somebody might come across. What about if it's not a medical problem? Let's say it's a behavior problem. They want some consultation as far as helping, helping their pet. We enjoy working with the behaviors. We have a staff here that loves to work with a, a variety of uh, complicated situations, but behaviors are probably one of our bigger uh, concerns for most of our patients. And, and I repeat that if, if, we, if we can't find an answer here, we will direct you in the direction. There are several veterinarians in the area that do a wonderful job with behaviors. Wonderful. And basically, you've got, the, you've got the pets feeling great. They're coming in for the wellness checkups. And if they have a problem, you've got somebody on staff that can take care of them in that way. But you also even have them looking good as well. Tell me, you've got groomers on staff now. Recently, we have uh, expanded to uh, two uh, groomers in our facility. And we are open for business. We are ready to uh, uh, have as many as would like to come in to, to participate. We have uh, a grooming facility, two groomers ready to go. I was looking on the website there and actually you have even weekday uh, boarding. Let's say if somebody needed to uh, bring a dog in or a pet in, is that right? We have small facilities in here and, and they're more welcome to come down and, and evaluate the place and, and look at the facilities, but we have the ability to, to, to board animals as well. Wonderful. Once again, folks, their website at the bottom of the screen, the phone number's at the bottom of the screen as well. Come on out and take a look at this beautiful facility I'm sitting in right here, and hopefully we've been giving you a tour visually via video, and it will entice you to want to come out. And if you're not sure, come on in and speak with one of the people at the front desk who will walk you through anything, any questions you may have. They've got a complete pharmacy on, on site here. You've got an accessory room where you've got everything that that you pretty much could need for your pet or animal out there. Somebody new to the area and they're basically looking for a clinic, what would you tell them? Be comfortable with the veterinarian and the staff. You want to be able to come in and communicate and uh, um, describe your problems, your situations, and if, uh, again, we can't uh, alleviate your concerns and get you an answer, we will we'll definitely help you to find that answer. Wonderful. Once again, folks, this is Gary Atencio with CNTV at South Park Animal Clinic. And if you don't know, now you know.